What a fun day. We're going to be unboxing our new bird supplies and toys. And as you can see, Ruby already stole a package from me. You do you have your own personalized Amazon package, Ruby? You're so adorable. What do you think's in there? You think there's something in there for you? So we're gonna do the unboxing and then I will show you guys her new cage and then we will have her first time going back into it. Now it's, it's a new cage for her, but it's not actually new, new. We have had it in the bird room. She used to be in this cage. So I will explain all of that when we get into the bird sunroom. When she gets to go into the new cage that we have redesigned for her and you have new toys coming. Are you super excited? Do you have new toys? I love your parent bird room is gonna be a big party today. We are always up for a good party. Oh, do we hear a bird toy? I think that bird toy might be too small for you though. Too. Special delivery. Are you special? Are you excited, Cairo? We're going to do our first unboxing for the Love Your Parrot Education. And today we are going to be unboxing product for the birds from Doctors Foster and Smith. One of my favorite places online to order toys, food. Sometimes they have uh, cages on sale. I've gotten a couple cages from there. And the other place that I order a lot from is Amazon. So we have a lot of Amazon and Amazon Prime, of course. Get it in two days shipping, especially if you're running low on food. So we have the Amazon Prime. It's a great resource for us because if I'm running out, I can quickly get it. I live out in the country on acreage, and so it's not always easy for me to get to a pet store to buy more bird food. And a lot of times the pet store is way overpriced, and I buy a lot of food in 25 pound bags for my pellets and my seed treats. And so they don't even carry that at the pet stores. Um, I do like going to PetSmart, Petco, occasionally just to see if they have something different uh, for treats. But in large amounts for my flock of 40, we have to order in bigger quantities, obviously. Okay, so this is an exciting day. We have lots of product to unbox. And we'll just say a couple things about how we feel about the product and then move on because we have a lot of product and we want to share our favorites. So we have Miss Jessica with Hazel today. And then my daughter Haley has Tawny to help her unbox. And my daughter Alyssa has Cairo who's gonna help her. And Ruby, you already helped. You had your own package first, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, so what do you wanna pick first? I guess we'll just do the top one. Okay. So this is a bigger order because we were out of a lot of things and we are redoing Ruby's cage. And some of the birds, we had to throw away toys because we rotate and we check our toys. And if they are unsafe or chewed and used, we throw them away and you have to get more. The boings. Okay, so Haley, what do you have? This is a new one. A this. this is, yeah, let's read it. It says pinata. And this is an awesome brand. Let me, let me see the tag so I can show everyone. So this is the Planet Pleasures. That's going to be good for Ducky the Quaker. The cockatiels might like something like that. Okay, Jessica, what do you have? So this is from Amazon, and this is a cute little hut that we got because Happy 
who is our linolated parakeet, he needed a new hut. He's a smaller bird. So we're gonna hang this in his cage. He loves huts and he needed a new one. Um, we are pretty picky about the bird huts. If there's a lot of material falling off, I know some birds have ingested that before. This one is pretty good and Happy does not chew his hut. All right, what do you have, Alyssa? Boing. So we have boings. You wanna take one out of the package? And these are for the smaller birds. Where the girls are sitting right now is where we're gonna build an indoor mini aviary off of our semi-indoor front porch. And so we will have a separate video on that, but we're gonna be using these that we can hang on the ceiling. And then we're gonna have bird netting. And we also have our bird perch that we bought from Home Depot. If you haven't seen the Home Depot video, I will post that link in the description so you can go back and look at that fun video. Okay, what's next? Oh, we've got our flat wood bird perches. And I love these for a variety of different kinds of birds. Let's see this one. So this is nice to attach in your cage and that way your bird can rest on that and not have to be on a round perch all day long. This is another Amazon Prime. I look at Hazel wants to play with it. So this is the uh, grass toy for the birds. And this one we are probably going to hang outside also. This is super fun. This is a new one. And this has got the little cardboard rolls that they like to shred and chew. Lots of enrichment, lots of busy work with this type of toy. And again, I will post the link below of all of the toys that I ordered on Amazon and on Doctors Foster and Smith. This one's super cute. You can just hang it up with the hook like that. That is for a smaller bird. Uh, very good for a green-cheeked conure. Cockatiels would enjoy it. So this is a super fun one. What do you think about this, Tawny? What do you think? Oh, are you scared? Your bird might be scared of a new toy, so give it some time when you hang a new toy in the cage. This has a paper roll on it. Haley, can you show them the paper roll? And the birds can take it and they start shredding it. So this is a very good enrichment toy. I love this Planet Pleasures. This one is super cool. Yeah, I really like this one a lot. There's lots of fun enrichment. Oh, did you get the paper? Tanya, what do you think about that? Is that going to be fun to play with? We had money to spend at the bird fair, but we did not buy any toys there. So this unboxing is super special that we just really got to take the time to look at what kind of toys we wanted. So next we have our living world petty perch and some people don't like these they say not to use them see how it's got like this cement type perch with this different texture okay when you turn it over on the other side it's smooth so i do a balance sometimes i'll do it i'll actually put it in the in the cage like this so they have half and half you can put it like this. This perch is suitable to use if you have a variety of perches. If you have a rope perch and a flat perch, because then you're giving your bird different options for their feet. So this is a fun toy. This was also an add-on item. Literally, I think it was like $6 and it's all just coconut and natural wood. There's no chemical. Let's see this coconut one, it's so cute. So this one would definitely be something fun for either Happy, the lino laden parakeet, or um, we could do that for oregano, the parallette. Here he has one, it's a little bit smaller, 
but he might like a little bit the bigger purchase. one. We're totally upgrading. Probably okay, so then we have all of these perches. So these perches, I like to have extra perches. Now again, this so this brand is JW, and they are a sand perch. Some people are going to say to not use a sand perch for your birds. You know what, I like them because I have a variety of perches in my cage for all of my birds. These are for the smaller birds. So this would be for like a green cheek conure. I do use these for sun conures and I also use them for the Senegals and the Quakers. Uh, I am trying it on Snooky the Nande Conure as just an extra in his cage. So it's a pretty small diameter. Um, this would actually be too big for like our parallette. So when you're buying a perch, make sure to look and see if their feet are gonna be comfortable on it. If it's too big for your bird, they're not gonna feel secure. They're not gonna feel safe and they might end up falling off. And it's gonna be stressful because it's just like they're trying to hang on to a perch that's too big for them. And then you don't want too small of a perch because if it's too small, that's gonna strain the bird's foot. And they're gonna be gripping on and that's not gonna be comfortable either. Oh, look at a package in a package. A package in a package? What is it? Oh, it's kind of smushed. What'd they do to this? Chuck it across the room? <laughs> you know, like Ace Ventura. Where he's just like picking it everywhere. We've got our play gym back there. Then we're going to be adding new toys. I don't like to keep the same toys on the play gym for more than a couple weeks because it gets boring. So I take them off. Oh my gosh, let me see this one. These are super fun colors. I love it. We can use those for our new play perch. We don't have any birds on the play perch while we're doing the unboxing because I didn't want them to get scared. We already have enough birds out. It's very important to not have too many birds out at one time because we need to be able to manage them safely. We're gonna open the big box. Whoa, that's a big box. Oh, here, let's take this out. So this is super fun. We're gonna be gonna working be on this. Get well, just let me see the what the texture is. So here's the bird netting, and we ordered this online, and that is what's going to go all the way across this open area on our front porch and all the way to the side, and we're gonna hook it up to the top of the ceiling all the way down. In this whole area, we are going to design to be a little mini aviary. This is a larger flat perch. And one of these, I'm gonna see if it goes in Tawny's cage. And the other one we're gonna use out here in the mini aviary. And you can put, I'm gonna save this cardboard right here. And so I'm gonna cut the cardboard and you can lay the cardboard on top of this perch and it's going to give them a comfortable place that they can rest or hang out. Oh, look at this toy. Ruby, come here. Do you want to see this toy? Oh, look at this toy, Ruby. So this is made out of bamboo. Do you like it? No fun? <laughs> you can play with that one. We have two of those. And those were $45 each, so not too bad. I'm gonna see how it looks inside their cage. It's maybe not as big as what I thought it was, but we'll see once it gets in the cage. Oh, I love these. These are one of my favorites. And Super Bird Creations. Love this brand. I buy a lot from there. Let's hold now. So you can attach the one side to the cage and then it hooks onto the other. So it really fills up a nice space for a smaller bird. Green sheep conures, cockatiels. I've given them to my linolated parakeet before. Um, also, we have given them to the sun conures, but they just don't last because the sun conures have such powerful beaks. 
and they chew that I really try to get a really hard wood, a bamboo wood. I also try to get like the manzanita wood uh, with some toys for the Senegals and the Sun Conyers because they can take a toy and literally snap it within one day. So this is a super fun one. This is from Planet Pleasures also. And as you can see, it's got some fun little things on it. This would be good for our green cheeked Conyers. Hazel, Hazel, what do you think? Hazel, she's like really worried about her flight suit. So she's gonna be getting comfortable with the flight suit. It might take her a couple weeks to get used to it. Do you like it, Hazel? She won't let go. She won't let me see. She won't let go. So Hazel has, um, she's taken over this toy. We're definitely giving Hazel this one. She loves it. Hazel, you're just so beautiful. Okay, who's next? Oh, this is another one of my favorites, and this brand is the Super Bird Creations also. Isn't this so cute? It's got the little sticks. And this toy I do give to my Sun Conyers, and I give it to my Senegals because it holds up well, and it takes them a while to get their strong beaks destroying it, which is the job of a bird, is to get all that busy brain stimulation. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. This is huge. And that is also a super bird creation brand that I ordered on the Doctors Foster and Smith. One of my favorite toys. This comes this is the large and then I also have the smaller version that I give to my Sun Conyers and my Senegals because they have strong chewing and they will take a few weeks before they'll actually get down to the bone on this type of toy. The PVC pipe uh, holds up well. The blocks are of a harder wood and so it takes them just a little bit more time. This one is probably going to go in Tawny's cage. Tawny, do you like that? Here, see if she likes it. Tawny, Tawny! Look at, we're gonna put this in your cage. Okay, just do it slowly. Cause you love your new toys. Tawny has just blossomed with all her new toys. She chews and she's busy all day long doing things. That was fun. Oh, okay, so there's the second one. Now this, okay, so this one is the one, it looks like it's almost the same so design, same style, just different color. And they were about the same price. These are heavy. All right, so there's the tiny version that we're gonna be giving to the Senegals. Are you having a good time, Cairo? Three. As you can see, we really made out with a lot of toys off of our online favorites. And I think we did, we scored a little bit better than um, obviously shopping at the bird fair. These prices online were much better. The Planet Pleasures toys, I love them. These were, I want to say, $6.00. And at the fair, they were, obviously they have to up the price so that they can make a little off of it too. So they were selling the Planet Pleasures for about $11, whereas I got them on Amazon for six to $7, depending on the style. So if you're gonna shop on Amazon for bird toys, you're gonna save a little bit of money. Obviously most people only have, you know, one, two, maybe three birds, uh, unless, if you're someone like me that has a parent rescue and has a lot of birds, I need to order a lot in larger quantities. And this will last a couple months. Um, we'll rotate. I, we have already toys in the bird room that haven't been used yet. So I'm always making sure that we are in stock of having new toys for our parents.
Are you having more fun with like the free box over the toys that we got you? That's how it always is with birds and babies and kids, right? You buy them all the expensive stuff and then they end up just wanting like the free cheap stuff that they enjoy more. That's hilarious. We have lots of work to do. As you can see, I'm going to take a picture of all of our toys. I'm going to post it on Instagram and our Facebook page at loveyourparent.com. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe. We just love you. Thank you for all of the kind comments. I love to have new friends. We love to see all of your pictures and stories about your birds. If you have any questions, just make sure to comment below. And I want you to have a great experience with your bird. And the way to do that is to get education That's out there. Work. That was hard work. Oh my gosh. If you love this video, please push the like button. We are also celebrating our 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So have a great day, guys. Have a great day. Have a great day. Don't bite me. Aww. Cairo, you got some busy work?